Hey, it's Aaron, and today we'll be going through the solution for the E-Box. This puzzle is a level 7 on the Puzzle Master difficulty scale. This puzzle and many others are available at puzzlemaster.ca. So, first step to this box, you need all these pins to be rotated so that they can move up freely. Now the easiest way to do this is to turn it upside down and just rotate the pins. You can just barely see me doing stuff. And we want them all to stick up like that. So you can see that that's where it would normally be and that's where it sticks up. So we got to do that with all the pins. And I did these all before so they should be pretty close to good. So I recommend you put it upside down for this process. I'm just going to sure these up quickly. Because apparently some of them have moved. Shouldn't have moved too far. Try to give you guys a view. What I'm doing. Well, there goes all my planning. I'm trying to save time and have all the pins moved on. Okay. Now we're getting there. Oh, this one's pretty good. Okay. These two shouldn't be far off either. So this is a lot easier doing it upside down. The pins will fall down and stay down. So you can see all our pins are now protruding. We will now carefully flip it back over. Now we are going to rotate this, applying pressure upwards, just slowly and carefully. You cannot do this part upside down. There are gravity pins that will lock in the mechanism that we're rotating. That allows us to slot it out. They made these pins more or less to make you think, oh yeah, I should just have it upside down for the whole solution, but no. You gotta you got put it right side up. There are grav pins fighting us. And we're just going to carefully rotate it, putting pressure upwards. You don't have to rip the lid off, but... So, we can see that it just popped up. So we'll keep pressure on and we'll just make sure all our pins aren't fighting us here, because that could be a thing. Just kind of give it a little jitter. And we can actually flip it upside down at this point too, just to ensure. And it looks like this blue pin here is holding us back. It's a little finicky. There we go. So we'll put that face up and that side lifts up. So this side should also lift up pretty readily, as it fights me on this side now. We'll just manually rotate this pin, whichever pin we think is uh, causing our problem. Put it upside down if we need. just to get our eight pins all lined up where they need to be. Okay, there we go. While our pins have lined up, we have removed the box. So we can see our mechanism here. We have the pin, they're connected to these uh, acrylic base pads and they're like kidney bean shaped, well, half moon. So they're a circle and they have a notch cut out of them. So when we're rotating them, we're just trying to find and line up that notch with the opening of this. Now, this was the second part. We have this arrow shaped pin. It's attached to this wheel. The wheel doesn't really spin it very well. It doesn't really, there's no reason to manipulate this at all. It doesn't hurt it though. 
Now, when we have it upside down, these two pins engage with whatever hole it's lining up with. So when it's upside down, you can spin it forever and you'll never move this any closer to our grooves. It has to be back right side up. And all these pins fall down and then they might retain it because they're very loose. And so it's one of those puzzles that by being super finicky, it can distract you from the solution. We rotate this right side up so that the pins are all engaged at the bottom. And that allows us to find our very specific grooves. And then we're able to pull it up once all those pins line up. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, we have plenty more like it on our YouTube channel. Haven't had enough? Join our community on Facebook or Instagram. Want more puzzles? We have a massive catalog of puzzles at puzzlemaster.ca.